Welcome back to another vlog. I'm back in New York City, obviously. <laughs> if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if this is your first video of mine that you're watching, first and foremost, hi, welcome. Subscribe if you're new. I was just in California for a little over two weeks. I'm originally from California, lived my entire life there, and moved to New York City almost a year ago. It'll be a year in just a couple of weeks. I am so happy to be back in New York. I've been home for like five days now. And the weather in New York has been so amazing. I was thinking of picking up the vlogging camera sooner, but I honestly just needed a few days to reset, get back into a little bit of a groove. I also got my hair done, if you couldn't tell. I got a haircut, finally. I had long straggly dead ends that needed to come off. Sadly, so I feel like I got my little hair refresh going. Dogs got a little haircut, as you know, when I was in California. Before going on my trip, I feel like I was doing a little spring reset and we're kind of continuing on with that now that I'm back. Doing the rest of the celery juice I made yesterday, sauerkraut, ginger shot, and some Lipospheric C from Live On Labs. I have quite a bit of work that I need to catch up on and some things that I need to plan because I'm actually going out of town again in a week and a half. <laughs> More on that later. And I also really want to kind of debrief after my trip to LA and share some thoughts. I think in my last vlog I had mentioned that I had some interesting thoughts and feelings about being back in LA. And I told you I would share more about that once all was said and done. And now that all is said and done, <laughs> I feel like now's a good time to chat about that. But before I do, I kind of want to make a matcha and I want to journal a little bit because after my nice, lovely walk outside, I also did a little meditation outside because it's finally warm enough to do that in New York. I'm so happy. But yeah, since I just did that, I'm kind of like in this mode. I have some thoughts and feelings that I want to jot down. So I'm going to do that first and then we will debrief. so cute when they play. <laughs> Penny sleeps a lot of the day just because she's a little older. She's nine, but it's so cute when they play. It makes me so happy. <laughs> anyway, I was going to drink my matcha and journal here, but just remember that they reopened the rooftop of my building for the season because it's closed during winter because it's so cold. And I think I might want to go up there and journal a little bit. So let's go and scope that out and see. By the way, this glass along with the matcha and a lot of other things in my house that you see me using daily are all linked on my Amazon storefront, which is always in the description box of all my videos. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that was glorious. <laughs> that was so amazing. It's 70 degrees out today, randomly. It makes me so happy. I am so excited for warmer weather. I have said this before, but I'll say it again. I really did not mind winter. I feel like, yeah, towards the end there, I was like, all right, let's get it going. But I am so ready for spring and summer. And I think this is what makes having seasons so nice is that you appreciate each season more when you only have a limited time with it. Whereas growing up in Southern California, it just feels like perfect weather all the time, which there are pros to that. Okay, don't get me wrong. I love the sunshine, I love the warm weather, but it was hard for me to appreciate that because we just had it all the time, you know? These are why the highs and lows of life and light and dark and cooler months and warmer months, we need these. We need these differences, you know, to learn to appreciate the things that fill us up. Anyway, feeling rejuvenated after that, I got the whole little cabana to myself, which was so nice. Although it was a little windy up there. <laughs> the wind was really blown, but it didn't matter. It just feels amazing up there. And yeah, before I lose this momentum, I have a little bit of work I need to do. I also want to work out. I want to make a protein smoothie because I'm trying to get motivated again into my fitness routine and my healthy habits. I just did a podcast episode all about motivation. I've been struggling super hard, but struggling a little to get back into the swing of things since being back. So I'm trying to keep up the momentum that I have and keep showing up for my practices, even if it's not to the fullest capacity. And I talk about this in that podcast episode, but I'm just trying to show up to get into the habit of showing up and then I can expand on these things so that's why I kind of want to prioritize working out a little bit at least going down to the gym just getting there and then I have some organizing that I need to do and then we have a dinner date tonight with a friend I think I want to work out first mostly walk on the treadmill and I can answer emails from my phone and kind of multitask a little bit so that's the vibe on that whoa it was really windy up there I need to wash my hair I haven't washed it since I got it done but I've been kind of putting it off it's not getting washed today that's for sure got enough dry shampoo in there to last me hopefully all right to the gym Go-to green smoothie I make all the time. If you watch my vlogs, then you already know what's in it. Time to get some work done. Please ignore this entire pile of stuff over here. I got a bunch of organizing containers for my closet because I've been working on reorganizing my closet and also bringing out my spring slash summer stuff that's under my bed and under the bed bags, putting that in my closet and slowly transitioning my winter stuff out of my closet. I don't think I'm gonna do the full transition just yet because I think we're in for some cooler weather for the next month at least until June if I remember last year correctly. But I've been trying to reorganize a little bit. I also did a major purge. I donated like three bags of clothes right when I got home from my trip. I just felt like I needed to purge my space. And now I have, this is like a mixture of stuff that I am keeping, but storing, as well as some stuff that I'm gonna post on Poshmark when I get time. But 
yeah, I wanted to show you these containers because I got some for like accessories and bathing suits. And I also got some for down here for shoes and hats. My little pink shoes look so cute in there. And I really wanted to do this with you today, but I ran out of time. I'm meeting my friend Eugen for dinner in like 10 minutes. And I want to take the dogs down quickly and stuff before I go. So I don't think we have time to do any organizing right now, sadly. But we'll do it in the coming days. It's a casual early dinner, so I'm just wearing a very casual outfit. Little jeans, sneakers, and this faux leather trench that I got from Zara that I am obsessed with. Still pretty nice outside right now, but it's windy. The wind makes it feel a lot chillier. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, dinner date with my babe. <laughs> We're going to get our favorite vegan burger at Planta. <laughs> Wait, what'd you get on yours? Oh, my first, I was like, was that there before? <laughs> <laughs> we got the same thing. We got the Planta burger. This looks so yummy. I'm so happy to be doing this with you. It is 78 degrees today in New York City. First time wearing shorts in New York since last summer. <laughs> Thought I would go on a little solo coffee date this morning, so let's go. Although it's not solo because you're going with me. <laughs> glorious day <laughs> I am heading to Sephora now because I need to get some more brow gel and then I might pick up a few things at the grocery store and I want to organize my closet a little bit with you so let's do that this weather today truly reignited so much joy and excitement within me for summer, for spring, and just for warmer weather in New York City. I'm so, so, so happy. I had just like such a nice day. I feel like I was productive, but also got tons of time outside, which felt so nice. Also ran into Brooke, who I'm actually seeing tomorrow, but I ran into her on the way home and we got to chat and catch up a little bit. And yeah, I'm just feeling so good. I got Couple of things, nothing crazy, just some veggies for stir fry and some salad stuff and celery to make celery juice. It is also so cute to me and sweet just because this like would never happen in LA to see everybody and their mother and their brother, their sister, their father, their cousin outside. Like everybody was at the park, everybody's sitting outside, everybody's sunbathing, everybody just seems like they're in such a good mood. It is so fun coming from Southern California where we have pretty much perfect weather year round. I've said this before, I'll say it again. It's just, it's so nice to have a change in season because there's just so much gratitude for the sun once it ma finally makes an appearance, you know? It's just so cute. I love it. Makes me happy. I managed to escape Sephora only getting three things, which I think is pretty great. Two of which I went in for, and I don't know why I always end up leaving with one extra thing, but I needed more of my Refi brow gel. I love this stuff. I get the clear one. I also got some more tinted moisturizer from Tarte, but I got a little bit darker shade since I'm more tan than I was this winter. I also got this eye serum from Sunday Riley. Oh, how cute. Look at the little evil eyes on the package. I didn't even catch that when I was in the store, but if this is the one I think it is, it has a really nice applicator. Yes, this is the one. You just like squeeze it and it comes out of the top. Gosh, it's cute. So I'm gonna try this and I'll let you know how it goes. I haven't used this before, but that is what I got at Sephora. And then I did get a new candle. <laughs> I got it at that little coffee shop, Homecoming. It smells really good. Pepper Blossom, Gardenia, Jasmine, Black Pepper, Sweet Musk, Plumeria, and a touch of honey. 
hand poured in New York City. I also finally finished Can't Look Away. So freaking good. It's not my top number one book I've ever read, but I really, really loved it. And I would give it a nine and a half out of 10 stars. What's my rating system, you ask? I don't know, I don't have one. I just, it's like whether I would recommend it or not. And I would, so there you go. I actually link all of the books that I read on my Amazon storefront. So I linked all the ones I read in 2022 and I'm doing that again with 2023. I don't know what book I'm gonna read next. I need to think about that. I think it's time to do a little organizing. I have these two bins and I have two more of these bigger ones. I'm still gonna keep my sweaters out because I think we might have some days that are on the chillier side. But once we hit summer and late spring, I'll probably take those sweaters out and put them under my bed in my under the bed bags. But my little organizing containers are so great. I love them. I think they're actually technically for shoes, but in this one, I put my baseball caps and then my bathing suits over here. And then I still have some other hats in here, like beanies and stuff that eventually I'll cycle those out too. And then over here, I have some glasses and then I have another empty one over here for accessories. But overall, I'm really happy with how it looks and it feels like super nice and organized. Although it is interesting because I feel like it's half spring, half winter energy happening in here, but that's okay, we're going with it. Good morning, walking with the girls to go meet Brooke for coffee and go for a little morning walk. Look how cute she is, just basking in the sun. Making a little salad for lunch. Is there anything better than a perfect avocado? Wow, I feel so lucky. Today's gonna be a good day. <laughs> also, I saw someone leave a comment asking about this little, it's like a shacket. I actually got it at Target on clearance. It was like 20 bucks. I was at Target in Orange County with my mom and found it. I'm pretty sure it is a free people dupe, but I, I'm obsessed with it, it's so comfy. However, I sadly do not have a link for it, but maybe try checking on target.com, I don't know. Adding some seaweed to my salad, tofu to put on here. And then I'm gonna put some of this Japanese dressing on top with some sesame seeds. Before I forget, I did decide what book I'm reading next. Brooke, who I saw this morning, actually loaned me this book along with Greenwich Park, which I read two books ago, I think. And I totally forgot that I had this. And last night when I wanted to read something before bed, I was like, I feel like I have another book that I had in my reading queue. And sure enough, I did. I don't really know what it's about. I do know it's a thriller and I'm only through two chapters. So nothing to report just yet but Brooke said that it's really good. And I do love a thriller. Updates to come on this. I also realized that I would talk to you about my LA thoughts and 
totally forgot to do that. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, overall, I had a really great trip. It was very restful. It was very relaxing. It was so, so, so nice to get to spend some quality time with my mom. It was so amazing to see my best friends in California, Laura, Annie, and Gina. I got to see Terry, who's another dear friend. I got to spend time with my auntie Roxy, who's like my adopted aunt. It's a long story. I don't have time to get into it now, but it was just really good to be home and see my people. However, I was was very surprised by how I felt being in LA for the first time after calling it my home for 15 years and not being back for a year. Well, maybe I was less surprised about what I felt and more surprised about what I didn't feel because at one point LA was my forever home. I moved there when I was 19. I lived there for a very long time. A lot happened in my life there. A lot of not so great stuff, but you know, a lot of growth and stuff happened there. And yes, I was definitely ready to leave when I left, but I felt as though going back, I would feel some type of way. And I got there and felt super disconnected. I honestly could not wait to get back to New York. And that's setting aside my friends and loved ones, obviously. I miss them and I would love to be around them all the time, but just LA in general did not feel like home at all to me anymore. And I think I shared that I realized that I don't really like driving, at least at this point in my life right now, and that I miss the walkability of New York. And I just missed the energy. This is just my personal opinion, but the energy in LA feels stagnant and almost zombie-like. And it just was really weird. It was weird. I was kind of expecting to feel more, not homesick, but I thought that I would get there and feel like, oh, I kind of miss it here. And I didn't feel that at all. I mean, I stayed in a really nice hotel in West Hollywood too. Probably the nicest hotel I've ever put myself up at. And even being in the nicest hotel with the most beautiful view, I could not wait to get back to my life here in New York. And I feel like that's really telling. It's not to say that LA is not a great place or that somebody else might have a different experience. But for me, it just solidified that I am exactly where I need to be, which is here in New York City. Obviously, again, I miss my friends. I miss my mom, but I'm really happy here. I'm really, really happy here in New York. And LA is just not home anymore to me. I don't know if it'll ever be home again. I definitely was thrown off guard by that though. I thought I would be sad to be leaving or feel certain feelings. And I was very indifferent to the city as a whole. And yeah, again, I was like really excited to get back to my life here in New York, which I cannot believe that I'm coming up on my one year anniversary since moving to New York. That is crazy to me. Is anyone else just like blown away by that? I feel like that went really fast. I was talking to my mom earlier. We both are just flabbergasted that it's already been a year. It's insane. I don't even know. Anyway, I need to edit the podcast episodes I recorded earlier today. But before I do, I think I'm gonna take the dogs out on a walk because it feels like summer outside right now in New York. And I know I'm gonna just be sitting at my computer for the rest of the day and I feel like I should take advantage of this gorgeous weather outside, even if it is just for like 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, let's go do that. Oh, it is amazing outside. I can't say this enough. I'm so grateful for this beautiful warm weather. Although I am going out of town in a week, but I'll tell you about that in the next vlog because I'm actually gonna start a new vlog tomorrow, a little weekend of my life vlog. So that'll be the next vlog that you see, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I think the rest of the day, I'm literally just gonna be sitting at my computer editing podcast episodes, so nothing too exciting. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, but thank you for hanging out with me. I love you so much. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.